Hello and welcome back to our van build series. Today we're going to discuss a major evolutionary change that has occurred in van electrical systems that has made making electrical systems much safer and much easier for the DIYer where building the system goes from looking something like this to something like this. Back in 2017 when I built this van there were very few product choices especially when it comes to lithium systems and that's a little different today. There are quite a number of products. However, they all have one thing in common, and that is you have a bunch of discrete components that you have to wire together in order to meet your needs. So if you want alternator charging, there's a box for that. If you want solar charge controlling, there's a box for that. If you want shore power, you've guessed it, there's a box for that. Inverter functions, all of these things require boxes and they all have different load demands, which means that in order to do it correctly, you have to calculate the proper wire size and fuse and circuit breaker size for every single one of those components. And if you do it wrong, you could end up with a fire. So not to scare anyone, if you do your homework, you can come up with a great system. The one in this van, aside from some battery problems that are unrelated to my installation, it's worked out really well. EcoFlow approached me and said, hey, Ken, you really need to try this. I took them up on their offer, and I have been using this system now for a couple months, and I'm impressed enough that it was time to come and make a video for you guys about this system. So let's talk about some of the things that differ between this EcoFlow system and the system that we have built in this van. Well, let's take a walk over here and see what we've got going on in this van. So down in this hole in the very bottom, the green thing, is a 200 amp hour lithium battery. And then sitting on top of that, I have a 1000 watt inverter. And down here, there are a bunch of things going on. There's a big class T fuse down here to keep the system safe. There's a shunt over here for measuring the current and keeping track of where the battery is in state of charge. There are contactors in here for controlling the lithium battery system. There's also a BMS right here. This is one thing that has changed is now the BMS is internal on a lot of battery systems, which comes with its own pros and cons. I have some breakers here for solar and my main DC breaker. I have a solar charge controller for the solar. I've got battery and inverter switches. There are also 12 volt fuse blocks in here. There is actually a total of three of these in this van. Now, if this doesn't look intimidating, I don't know what does. Um, I've tried to make the system as simple as I can, and actually there's a lot of functions that a lot of vans have that, that this van is, is missing, just in terms of trying to keep it simple. However, the main point to drive home here is that there was a lot of time that went into choosing every single one of these components and again calculating loads and getting the correct breaker sizes and making all of this work together and that's one thing I'm happy to report on today is this new system that we're going to talk more about it takes all of the mystery out of doing exactly that the whole system has been engineered to work for off-grid cabins for vans and so they've thought it all through. It has the alternator charging capability. It has solar charging capability. It has shore power capability. It has a big beefy inverter. And they put it all into one box. And basically, you only have three components that you need to wire together. The battery gets wired to this hub that runs all these functions. And then there is a fuse block, basically, that distributes all the power. And in my opinion, I think that it is super well engineered. Now, before I made this video, I've put this thing to use for about two and a half months now, and I've worked it hard. <laughs> I, I have used it for basically, I'm charging the thing on solar, and I've been running the inverter uh, pretty hard, actually charging an electric car on a daily basis. And so that's not a super, easy use case. That's basically 
uh, like running your induction cooktop in your van for hours on end. And it has performed really well. That's why we're here talking about it. I think one of the nicest things about this kit is the wiring. So it comes with um, all the wires that you need to hook up all the functions that we just talked about. The alternator charging, the solar charging, I mean the MC4 connectors are already on the end of the solar cables. Um, and then the wires to connect the batteries to the hub, all of it is super slick. It's what I would consider to be like Tesla-like connectors where it's got some really heavy duty pens and when it plugs in, it's highly unlikely that it's ever going to come loose. And for anyone that's ever had one come loose, I can tell you this van spends a lot of time off road and I have had an inverter cable come loose. It wasn't like finger tight loose, it was just a little bit loose and it very easily could have resulted in a fire. I could smell insulation burning, I shut everything down and came back and found a wire, the inverter wire was just really hot just from coming loose. And that's one thing that, that this sort of Tesla style connector, it, it makes the chances of that happening extremely low. And just to draw a couple other comparisons with Tesla, the touch screen on the system is really nice. It provides a lot of information, it's really slick to use, but the smartphone app um, is, is just beautiful. You can go through, you can turn different uh, AC or DC functions on and off. You can check the state of charge. You can check the battery heating. You can set the various charge and discharge levels of the batteries. There are a bunch of functions in the app, but the app in itself is, it's just, it's beautiful and it functions really, really well. So first I want to introduce you to the EcoFlow Power Kit and show you what it is and talk a little bit about how it differs from a traditional a solar electric system in a van. The design of the electrical system that is in my van that I built in 2017, I spent hundreds of hours picking out electrical components and figuring out how to wire them together and calculating the proper loads and fuse and circuit breaker sizes and wire sizes and having to find the right terminal lugs to fit on every single component and making sure that the system was safe and lots of time went into that and what is really nice about this is that it makes it really easy for a DIYer. We basically have three main components including a battery. This here is one of the larger five kilowatt batteries. There are also two kilowatt batteries and you can link them together for more capacity. Then you also have what EcoFlow calls our power hub and that is uh, an all-in-one box that has the solar charge controller, your DC to DC charger for alternator charging, the AC inverter, it has everything in one box. And then there's also a component which they call the smart distribution center and handles both AC and DC. It has all the circuit breakers and fuses for both. And then it's really easy to wire. It uses like the Wago style levers so that you just put the wire in and close the lever and you're now hooked up. So, I mean, they're making it as easy as possible and what they're doing really is eliminating all the time that you spend and money uh, doing a custom solar electric system. So building an electrical system is obviously one of the more challenging aspects, if not the most challenging aspect of building a van. And I would say probably second is cabinetry. And so um, what we have here is a cabinet that we've designed that is specific to the uh, EcoFlow system. So um, this kit is made by an aluminum company and they cut all of the aluminum to size, they mill it for fasteners, they include all the fasteners, and basically you have everything that you need uh, in order to construct the frame of the cabinet and then in addition to bolt all of the EcoFlow stuff to it and then bolt it to your van. We designed the 8020 aluminum cabinet to handle the various battery configurations and house the smart hub in the wasted space of a van's wheel well. Quarter inch plywood can be cut and inserted into the tracks to create smooth operating sliding doors and quarter inch end caps can be fitted with the threaded ends of the aluminum profiles. Finally, a countertop of choice can be added and bolted in place. 
The EcoFlow cabinet kit is plug and play and when combined with our easy to assemble cabinet frame, you will have your electrical system up and running in no time. One really important thing to note here is that EcoFlow did not pay us to make this video. They sent us a unit to evaluate for two and a half months and I was impressed enough with it that I decided to build a cabinet kit specifically to house this EcoFlow system. Now the reason that I did that is the whole mission of this channel is to try and show you guys um, the highest quality, easiest way to put together a van build. And I feel like the combination of this EcoFlow power kit system as well as one of our kits and now you have a really high quality and easy to build electrical system and cabinet. I'm going to put some links down below where you can buy an EcoFlow power kit at a substantial discount using our, our caravan coupon code. And in addition, I've partnered with a really excellent company that is bundling both the EcoFlow power kit as well as our aluminum cabinet frame. And you can get the cabinet for as little as 10% of its retail cost. So we're just trying to get these units out there. If you weren't aware, in addition to this EcoFlow power cabinet, we also have a couple of other aluminum cabinet kits. Uh, one is based around a marine refrigerator, a bank of drawers, and space for either a water cabinet or just a cabinet in general. And the other is a slide-out uh, Dometic-style refrigerator cabinet. And those you can find on our website at ourcaravan.com. And we have there we have a full website detailing how you can build a high-quality van. I hope you found this video helpful. The goal of this video was not to steer you away from building your own system. If you like doing that sort of thing, uh, it can be a really rewarding experience. However, if you are intimidated by all of this, um, I am happy to report that there is, there is another way. And um, it's one that if I were building a van again today, um, I, would, I would definitely go this route. Okay guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.